Hey everybody, it's Ramona. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I was working today because I wear a mask. I don't even mess with wearing makeup at all. I wear a gown as well. So I do look kind of schlumpy. No surprise there. And um, so I have a lot of boxes that are collecting over there, a lot of videos that need to be done. So I'm trying to catch up and I'm gonna knock it all out today. So you're gonna see me in several videos dressed just like this in the next few days. I won't post them all today, I'll schedule some. But um, anyway, so yes, I do a lot of catching up to do. So let's get into it. And the first one we're going to do is my empties. And so I haven't done this for probably about two weeks or so, probably the week before I went away. And then I've been trying to catch up uh, with melting as well. Um, I am going to do a video on the scent of the month. So that'll be up here today or tomorrow as well. And um, something else I was just gonna say can't remember okay so let's get started then so the first one we have is a dryer disc in magnolia linen if you love wax in magnolia linen you will love the laundry products as well because they are very strong and if you already have magnolia linen in wax you may probably agree with me most people do but feel free you don't have to agree with me that it is super strong like one cube of magnolia linen really will just blow you out i the same is true for the laundry products they are very very strong there's still lots of scent left in this i was just ready to change it um the laundry detergent also very strong it lingers on your clothes so if you love magnolia linen go for it um, a car bar, I just took this one out today in apricot vanilla. I love apricot vanilla in the Scentsy Bar. Um, it is light, it's always been light. Every year I've had it, it never changes, it's always light. However, I still love it. I just put it in a smaller space so I can enjoy it. Like it would not do, unless you had, uh, just a suggestion, unless you had two or three warmers in a great room, um, this probably would not be the one to put in a great room. For me, I put this in my restroom, in my bathroom, and my bedroom. Um, and that's where the wax goes. The wax bar. We're talking about something different. The wax bar. Okay, so the car bar, I would say, is the same. It's light. Like, I really don't smell anything now when it was in there for about two weeks. Maybe a little bit more. So, um, would I repurchase apricot vanilla again in the Scentsy Bar? Yes, forever I will. In the Car Bar, probably not. Um, before that one, I had in Johnny Appleseed. And if you recall, I hauled everything Johnny Appleseed in the catalog. I think I got everything. And um, Car Bar was one of them because I love Johnny Appleseed. So, this kills me to say this. This was not a good car bar either. The wax bar, the cleaning products, everything else is fine. But this was, I have to say, this might have lasted a week or two weeks at most. Again, I can't smell anything. So again, it grieves me to say that because I do love Johnny, but not in a car bar. Everything else, yes. And the problem is that almond croissant in the car bar sets the standard way up here. The bar is very high with almond croissant car bar. It lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts and is so strong all the time, like all the time. So for me, that's kind of like now what I'm really loving in a car bar. I do have some other good ones as well, but uh, in recent months, almond croissant was my favorite and uh, is super strong. Okay, the other things not wax related are some uh, Scentsy Pods and Dancing Sugar Plums. I love this one. And Clean Breeze. I love this one. So both of these, currently this one is in the garage and this one is in the room where the litter box is, the spare bedroom. If you do come visit me, you won't have to sleep with the litter box. I will move it. Uh, but um, both of those are very good ones. And the rest is wax. Okay, so let's talk about what's not finished. Um, so before I went to work this morning, I popped in the warmers and it's, um, so I had it kind of when I was getting ready for work, fresh brew. This is from House of Star, uh, from um, uh, Super Tarts, right? House of Star. 
and this is fresh brew coffee and maple sugar poured 521 so it's a year old still plenty strong i have a little bit left this is one of the ones that i won in the box from wax can the wax candy group so definitely check out that facebook group no drama really nice okay so that was that so that's going to go back in the coffee bin um, this is from Homeworks, Autumn Pumpkin, and these are the tarts they had several years ago. And when they went on sale for, I think it was even less than 50% off, I bought like one or two sets of every fragrance that was out. This is Autumn Pumpkin, which is pumpkin, orange, cardamom, cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. And, um, oops. Wax down. Um, uh, yeah, Autumn Pumpkin. So this one, it was good, but I feel it changed over the years. As I said, it's a couple of years old. I didn't date the bag. It was okay. It wasn't that strong. And um, it just wasn't what I remembered it to be. And that's, again, probably my fault for hoarding it and not melting it. I did get the pumpkin... I didn't really get my clove and nutmeg, which is really what I was hoping for that, but we'll finish that one in the fall. Um, a brick I pulled out is blueberry cheesecake. Now, this one, so you can tell it's really kind of grungy on the front. This was one of the ones, if you watched my moving video when I first moved to Canada, uh, back in June or July of last year, I had posted um, I opened up my wax bins that I packed myself and I had some casualties and the bricks were the casualties because while in the bins I laid the clams flat this way, I wasn't thinking and I turned the bricks on their side to save more room. Mistake. So between the moving around and whatever was going on in the moving van and layered on top of things, the bricks took a hit. This was one that took a hit. And as you can see, there was some other wax, other wax mixed in here. And so it really changed the scent and I did not like it at all. And probably this is just gonna go in the garbage. Yeah, cause it just, it wasn't good at all. So it was a mixture of, I don't know what it was a mixture of, but no bueno. All right, uh, we do have some empty bags here. From Destination Wax, a sample in tonka bean and citrus, which was toasted tonka bean, light spices, citrus, and cedar. This one I really enjoyed. Um, it was definitely, you got the tonka bean and you get uh, the cedar in here. It's like vanilla and cedar. And this was really enjoyable. I really like that one. Um, another sample from Destination Wax was Magic Spell. Lots of rich fruit with apple blossom, rose, and jasmine. Um, uh, Victoria's Secret love spell type. This was okay. Um, yeah. The jasmine uh, was just a little too um, jasmine florally for me, so I didn't care for that. Um, and surprisingly, also from Destination Wax, Wine Cellar. Pomegranate, black cherries, pink pepper, musk, saffron, and patchouli. Slightly sweeter than Bath & Body Works. I have to say, A, being a lover of Destination Wax, and B, being a lover of wine, and most of the notes in here, but all together, it just didn't agree with my nose. Um, it was very... Um, I mean, when you look at all these scents, it makes sense. They are dark and deep, pepper, musk, patchouli. I didn't find it sweet, and I just found it kind of, I mean, if you like, like musky amber notes, dirty musky, um, you might like it. Now, having said that, this is a fan favorite, so make sure you see other people's reviews on this or maybe just get a small, just get a scent shot before you order this because just because I don't like it doesn't mean you won't, but, um, cause a lot of people do, but just to me and my nose, I just didn't care for that one. And again, I love Destination Wax, but that's, that's just how it goes. I can't love it all. Zombie Juice by Rainbow Melts. This was poured back in 2021 and these Destination Wax are relatively new, although this one was 
before, yeah, in January. I think those uh, samples were too. Anyway, honey pear cider. It's always a favorite. It's honey pear cider, and it's it's really good. Okay, let's move on to some clams then. Um, so yesterday you saw me haul a couple of uh, clams that I got at Walmart last week in Texas, one of which was lemon blueberry donuts. Although this is sensational, so you may be able to get it here. I don't actually have not been going down the Walmart aisle here. I don't know, but um, I did just put this in when I came home from work. Oh, it's so good. If It's lemon blueberry donuts all the way. It's really, really good. I'm gonna put the empties here, empties, 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 garbage, 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 this is garbage. Okay, from um, the bathing garden, this is blueberry lavender sugar cake, which was sugar cake, blueberry lavender, and cream cheese glaze. This also was very, very good. I definitely, the lavender was there, it was not overpowering. Um, and just the blueberry and the lavender together is a really nice blend. Like I never, who would have thought blueberry and lavender, but I really enjoyed that one. And then also from the bathing garden is butterflies and toadstools. And this one had a little butterfly in it. Um, I don't think, I think this one, I, cause I was looking for the little tchotchke, but it was just a piece, another, like a, a shaped piece of wax that melted. Uh, but anyway, so this is butterflies and toadstools, pomegranate, berry, vanilla, candy, sweet, orange, hints of sandalwood. This one I melted uh, last night. Yep. And it's one of those ones that I had to get up and turn off my warmer in the middle of the night. I just don't know what it is. Some things just do that to me now. I don't know. I think it was the candy sweet note along with the pomegranate note. I'm not a fan of pomegranate. I'm not really a big berry fan either, actually. But um, anyway, not a favorite of mine, but there you have it. Okay, so now the last couple of, uh, let's see, Sensi Saturdays, I melted this, 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 and this. Okay, so if you go to the last couple of Sensi Saturdays, one was Dumbo and Hendrix. I might not have had these in the right order. Dumbo, I have to say, was okay. I know people all over the world rave about Dumbo. I know that. Some people hoard it. Some people have a hundred in their Sensi Club, not mentioning any names. So I ordered it. I was very intrigued. I'd never had it before. It is sweet clementine, creamy peach, fresh mango, and vanilla bean. All those scents I like. Um, all together, I can't remember. I, I, I remember that it, it didn't throw as strong as I thought it would. And it was okay. I can't remember exactly what I gave it, but maybe like a six possibly. It was okay. Didn't love it. Didn't hate it. Kind of somewhere in the middle. I did not add it to my club. Hendrix was one of the bring back my bars from January that was only available if you put it in your Sensi Club which I did because the only way to smell it that way. I thought, well, I'll just put it in the club. If I don't like it, I'll take it out. I have to make a note to take it out. Um, this is earthy patchouli, glowing sandalwood, bold pink pepper, and sweet tobacco flower. All of which I like, all those scents. <laughs> but together, it was just a really, I wish I could find a better way to express this than saying this because it's not very, you know, um, I'm just gonna say what I felt like. It just smells kind of dirty, musky. I'm so sorry to say that. Um, but when I posted this, um, I can't remember who, cause it was several weeks ago now, posted it's one of their favorites and they use it as it's so comforting to them that they put it in the warmers at night for comfort. And I, you know, whatever floats your boat, I have ones that I do that too. But this one was not one of them. And so this one, unfortunately, will be coming out of my uh, club. If you have any thoughts on Hendrix, please leave it down below because I hate to leave a negative. If if you have some positive thoughts about Hendrix or whatever your thoughts are on Hendrix, leave it down below for everybody else to um, get some other opinions on it as well besides, besides just mine. Okay, and then I think it was last week I did sparkling magnolia and whipped vanilla uh, lavender. I can't remember because I pre-recorded it when I went out of town. Um, one of them was lighter than the other. Yeah, 
this one, the lavender here is a little herbal. Um, but I get the coconut and cold. And honestly, last week was such a whirlwind. I can't even remember my thoughts on these. Um, so anyway, so whipped lavender vanilla is sweet coconut milk and whipped vanilla soothed by English lavender. But I do recall, I have no, I have a note here for myself to add, uh, the, to add Johnny Appleseed and mother, the Mother's Day collection to my Scentsy Club. So I must have liked it. I can't, honestly, I can't recall. I'm so sorry. And then whipped, wait now. Yep, hang on. Sparkling Magnolia was the other one that came out for the Mother's Day collection. A bouquet of violets and magnolia petals brightened by a spritz of sparkling citrus. And I do recall this one I did like, so that's why that's going in the club. And then the rest are just odds and ends that I melted, I believe. Um, this is Vanilla Blackberry. And this was a scent of the month. I, they put the scent of the month there. I wish they would put the month because... You know, my memory by now is not good. But anyway, Vanilla Blackberry is Bold Fruity, Bold Fruity Blackberry Amber and Vanilla. And I love this one. I would repurchase this one. And something tells me, but let me just, because you know, I'm very frequently wrong. I was going to say, I think it's in this catalog, but it's not. But um, if it were to come out again, I might put this in my club. I really like this one a lot. Like it's not, some blackberries can be very perfumey. This one is not too perfumey mixed. It's just a nice juicy berry mixed with the, mixed with the vanilla. And I really enjoyed that one. Coconut cotton. And some of these, I don't even know if they're in, um, if they were in my melting basket, because I did a lot of pulling outside the basket. I was just having one of those wonky months, I guess. Sun warmed cotton, creamy coconut milk, bright citrus and white sandalwood. This one I love. I have a couple of bars of this and it's definitely coconut first. Definitely coconut milk. If you love coconut blends, I think you're gonna love it. I get the coconut milk, a little bit of cotton, a little bit of sandalwood, just kind of kind of mellows everything out. I did not get the citrus, but I still love it anyway. Coconut citrus, oh, sorry, coconut cotton. If you love coconuts, get it. Jammy time. It's a fan favorite all the time. Uh, baby freesia, lavender and sweet pea. This over the years, my feelings about this has have changed. I'm finding it, um, and mind you, all the scents are floral. So why I'm saying this, I don't know, but I'm finding it more floral than what I recall it being the last time I melted it or maybe last year or whatever. Um, I had it and it's like, oh, that's that's really floral, but I mean, it's all floral scents. So, but, but they're light florals. I wouldn't say it's a really, you know, aggressive floral like rose or magnolia or even jasmine. You know, sweet pea is light. Uh, lavender, baby freesia, um, they're lighter. Um, but anyway, it's a fan favorite. So if you haven't tried Jammy Time, go ahead and try it. Boho is another bring back my bar. And this was clove studded winter apples, juicy black plums, candied mulberry and cinnamon sticks. And I really like this. Um, I do have, I think one or two more clams in there, um, bars in there, whatever. Um, uh, yeah, I really got the plum and the clove in here, and this is very nice. I really enjoyed that one a lot. This is kind of like a fall scent or, you know, maybe an evening scent or a rainy day scent or just an anytime scent if you're just a mood melter. As I go back and forth between mood melting and uh, seasonal melting. Uh, this has always been a favorite of mine, apple cherry strudel. And I think, I think I took, I know I took it out of the club at some point in the past but I recently put it back in because I really enjoy melting it. It's, if you love bakery scents, you're gonna love it. You definitely get the strudel note in here and a little, and the apple and cherry are kind of a mixture of like a fruity note, but the strong on the strudel and it's very good. This is vanilla oud. Did I tell you something else on that? I did not, did I? Uh, Granny Smith apple cherry and vanilla drizzle. Now, funny enough, I mentioned this before, strudel that is in the name is not in the scent description, but I get it on when I melt it. I really do. This is vanilla oud. This also was a bring back my bar 
Ooh, several collections ago, I believe. I should start dating these when I put the scent notes, when I put the scent notes on the in. This is what I do for the scent notes, by the way. I'll, I'll tell you that in a second. Anyway, vanilla oud, sweet vanilla, earthy oud wood and leather. This is it is very earthy. You definitely get the wood and the leather first, and then the le the vanilla kind of comes up behind, kind of mellows everything out, smooths it out, you know, makes it kind of creamy. I really enjoy it. I did not put it in my club, but I did buy a bunch of backups. But if it were to come back again, I would put it in my club. Now, as I was just about to say, I'll get one that's not so nasty looking. Um, so maybe two months ago, I just got tired of always, you know, smelling, you know, looking up scent notes and I could ne and I never remember. Patricia Gates has a memory like, I don't know, she can remember all the scent notes. I cannot. So I took every clam of every vendor in my closet and I put the scent notes on all of them, including Scentsy. So, um, but what I'm going to start doing is putting the date down there as well. So I'll remember that. Um, but anyway, so that's what I've been doing for scent notes and, um, on the, um, consultant portal to Sensi, we have an ideas tab. And so I sent the idea in or the request um, to somehow get sent notes on the clams and they said, no, we can't do that. There's not enough room. Okay. All right. And then finally, pink cotton, a favorite of mine, uh, clean cotton, pink berries and vanilla sugar. I love it. I've had it in this, the scent bars, in the laundry detergent, in the dryer discs. Um, I think I have a car bar in my stash that I've not used, but pink cotton and everything is good. No complaints whatsoever. Um, okay. So that's it friends. Um, for my empties, probably on the weekend, not anytime soon. Cause I have a lot of catching up to do. I have a lot of cleaning to do, sensi work to do. I'm kind of way behind in everything. So I will get a new, a new melting basket up next week. And in the meantime, um, Stay safe and I will see you soon. Bye.